one. So I am at this uh, competition in Tennessee. I have uh, moved back to the south now. I'm back in Georgia and this is my first competition uh, since I left uh, New York. So to here today we're gonna get we're gonna get people's opinion on polymer coated cubes. So let's get started. This is Kieran. He just got a six oh. six five in comp oh, and yes. he has a, it was eight point six average, right? Yeah, as of five minutes ago. And he knows what the GTS and the Vault feel like. Yeah. So the we're Vault get... feels like a vintage-ish cube. It's very nice, but it just needs to be a little slower. But the DTS feels like candy. This thing, this man can make a good oh cube. Oh my right god! Here. It's it's crazy good. I don't like GTS twos, but this one is very nice. But, How would you yeah. describe the feeling, like in? Bit, uh, if you take a normal GTS two and then just make it as soft as everything in the world, oh. like as people say nowadays, yeah. baby's butt. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a good cube though. These magnets, as every everything does. Sick. Magnets. Thanks, Kieran. Back. He won seven by seven. He's like sixty. How much? What's your? What are your ranks? Seven. I, I think it was like sixty-seven. In the world. Yeah. And what you? What was your average like? Ninety-six. Yeah, I think we said it was ninety-second. Yeah, he's he's like really fast at seven by seven, and he he knows his cubes. So, this is uh, one of my polymer coated cubes. We're gonna get his opinion. So, okay, it's it's really smooth, but like. It's also insanely fast. Oh yeah, we, this is different from yesterday. I cleaned it out. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't re-gum it up. Yeah. Wait, is this one the same? Are these like the same or different? Oh, they're, they're different. Try that one. I like this one a lot more. Yeah, that's the one from yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, this one's like a lot, a lot smoother. This yeah. one is just like super speedy, but yeah. super, super smooth. Like, this one's like, it's still super speedy, but like more controllable. Repping that Keith Smith. <laughs> yeah. Well, how would you describe it other than those feelings? Like, how would you compare it to a GTS, like a normal one? It's like a V2? A yeah, V2? yeah. Um, it's a lot more like fluid. Like, uh, it's like really buttery, smooth. Like, other than just smooth, I don't know how else to describe it really. Thick. Really fast and smooth. Like the plastic feels a bit harder too. Oh, like interesting. I mean, maybe if I had like another GTS2 to compare it to, but do do a slow turn, like turn really slow, and it. You, I'll show you why in a little bit. Okay. But yeah, this is Eli. He's really funny, and we're gonna get his opinion what on. What is this? Oh, should I bias it? It's a GTS2M. But the pieces have been polymer coated. Do you feel a difference? Yeah. See, I like this one. I like this better. Oh, we got David Ludwig the third, fifth, third. the seventh. Damn, <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah. This feels like an Alon GT. That reminds me of that. What Both is that? of these guys are really fast. Wait, Eli, how fast are you these days? Uh, nine seconds. Oh, you got. But I have the three single. Huh. What? David, how fast are you now? Like eight? At home? Yes. Oh. So do you feel a difference? Yes. Let's oh. try. Try this bulk. Whoa, that's faster. Oh yeah, it, I wore down the lube a little bit, but do you notice a difference from the normal bulk or no? Yeah, kind of. It how would you just more like an L on GT. Oh god. No, it just has that look to you. Oh. What is this? Do you notice a difference? That was like smooth or something. Whoa. Significantly. Huh. The, it's been polymer coated. So I'm thinking about if enough people like this feeling, we can coat any cube. What do you average? Uh, I average like 10. Oh, okay. You're fast. I mean, I'm alright. So you know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. So. What do you think of this cube? Like, do you notice any difference from this and the normal GTS? Uh, I, 
definitely feels a little softer, I would say. Um, feels a little um, more hollow, maybe. I don't know. That's like a weird, weird word, I guess. Like the sound is a little more muffled, maybe. Uh, but I definitely like it. Let's get attention to. Uh, I would say uh, I approve. Oh, he also tried the Volk? Yes, uh, and the Volk. Uh, I don't really like Volks, but I like this a lot. Oh. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. I guess it's uh, it's really tight compared to normally, but it's still really fast and like stable. Wow. So uh, I would say it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Sick. Thanks. Oh, wait, you want to try them too? So these are the polymer coated cubes, a Volk and a GTS. So do you know what the Volk and the GTS feel like? This is the GTS right here. Yeah, I have a GTS. Oh, okay. Um, or I had a GTS. Try the GTS and tell me if it's any different. This one's a GTS. Definitely feels less crunchy. Way more smooth. Is there anything else you notice that's a different? Not very loud. It's oh. Really quiet. Yeah. It also doesn't look any different, like the boron. Like it's yeah. the same color and it looks like nothing's changed. So yeah. That's pretty cool. Sick. Good. Thank more people's opinions. I think that one. One of these is a Volk and one of these is GTS M. Do you know what they feel like? I do not. Um, It's really smooth. Which one is this? Um, the, the GTS. Yeah, that's the GTS 2 with coated pieces. And that's the bulk with the coating. I really like that one. Does it feel different from a normal bulk? It does. I haven't tried a lot of bulks. Oh, okay. It feels really good. Savage. He's really good, like world class good at pyramids. And he's gonna get, we're gonna get his opinion on the polymer coated cubes. So, you know what Vox and GTS feel like. Yeah. I like it. Uh, does it feel different from a. It does, it feels kind of like softer. Oh, sick. Is that the Vox? You can tell he's fast. How fast are you at three, Henry? Like nine seconds fast. We might podium today. I might. Uh, yeah, I yeah, these feel, these feel nice. They're, they're different, definitely. Whoa, sick. Thanks, Henry. Like, is there any... How would you describe the feeling of these two cubes? Compared like, to like... Softer and they're more... What do you average? I see a nine over here. Uh, so, do you feel anything different with these cubes? Yeah, this one feels more This one is so much, this one is so much smoother. Yeah, I like Whoa. this one. Is, this one like kind of goes into place. Oh yeah. Wow. Sick. So do y'all know what the GTSM usually feels like? No, not really. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's like a coded GTS2M. Sick. Video. But anyway, okay. I'm joking. This, Luke was like a little kid and he got the eight, and then he got yeah. six. When he's, I was still a little kid. Yeah. So okay. he's really fast. Polymer coding. Do you know what the GTS and the Vulk feel like, right? Yeah. So I think that is that's oh, the Vulk. Wow. Awesome. Do you do you feel a difference? Yeah, of course I feel a difference. How would you describe the difference? 
Um, it turns a little rougher and it's faster. Mm. Is the feel the same or is the feel different? The feel is different. It's like crunchier, which I like. If these do come out, this might be my main. Whoa. What do you use right now? Um, right now I'm using like a GTS 2M for the cubicle. Oh, and you can try this one. So that's cubicle GTS 2M? Yeah. Probably Mertrita. Yes. Oh, wow. This is really nice. How yeah. would you describe the difference? Um, well, when I first got the GTS 2M from the cubicle, it was like really, really gummy. Yeah. Make a nickel. I can still feel that gummy feeling, but it's much, much weaker now. I really like this. I'm, I'm not sure which one I like better. I like both of them. Oh, thank yeah, you. No Thanks, Luke. So, I'm coming home from the competition. Um, a lot of these uh, testimonies or people are trying the cube. Um, I'm gonna arrange it by like speed and experience because like I asked one person and I was like, oh, do you know what normal GTS feels like? And he was like, no. So I was like, then how would you, how would you know the difference? So I'm gonna try to like put those together soon. Um, I've been driving for four hours and I'm finally back into the city. Um, and I live like on, in the suburban part of the city. So I'm like, right now I'm 30 minutes from home. It's like 2.30 a.m. and I'm like super exhausted. Um, but something cool happens. I'm exhausted because for the past three days, I have only slept a total of uh, two plus three plus three plus two. 10 hours, which is horrible. I did horribly in three by three today, but I did win FMC. I won FMC with 26 moves which puts me at 105th in the world, um, which is pretty freaking cool. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's why I'm tired, because usually around this time of night is my inspiration hour. It's when inspiration hits me, and I'm gonna close this video off with some brainstorming. So a lot of people notice my polymer cubes are really fast, and before they were stupid fast because I was using an experimental lube, and this lube, it just drops the friction ridiculously. That's because it's a nitride lube. Um, the same nitride I coated the cube with, I uh, figured out as one of the ones that are stable and soluble in uh, silicone, uh, using a few tricks with chemistry, um, and I made that into a lube. And what I realized is, holy crap, it's way too fast. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a lasting speed too, but it just gets so uncontrollably fast. I might use it in 6x6 six by, six by GE, I think that's the Wuhua. Um, but other than that, I see no practical use because it's just way too fast. The nitride is just too low friction. Um, but we're now at a point where cubes and plastic are now so fast, we need lube to slow them down. And Trax is 50K, 100K. Those heavy lubes, they work for a little bit, but they change the feel and they go away over time. And I have a Using my degree in chemistry, we're taught that everything in the world can be solved with chemistry, which is more or less true because if you think about it, if you learn enough chemistry and you stay in school long enough, humans are just a bundle of chemicals. We are a bundle of amino acids and DNA, and all life is based on replication of DNA and telomeres. And if you can just keep that chemical reaction going by lengthening the telomeres, you control endless life. It's uh, easier said than done because these chemicals, these proteins are huge. But in the future, once humanity learns enough chemistry, we could literally control life and death with if you have enough knowledge of chemistry. It's an amazing field. It's a shame it doesn't have as big of a future. But these problems with Rubik's Cubes can be fixed. I already have a list of things in my head, and I'm going to go through and brainstorm them right now on video. So... It's not just about viscosity. Silicone right now, just using straight up silicone, it's not that good because if we're relying on simply viscosity to gum up and slow down a cube, uh, that silicone will wear out. We need to think deeper. So we have things, we have to consider not just friction, viscosity, but shear resistance. So the resistance to shear, that, that's something we can do. I, off the top of my head, I can think of two compounds that would work. Um, something that is still similar to silicone or something to add to silicone. I have one thing off the top of my head that I thought about trying 
uh, months ago, but I forgot to bring it home with me. Um, and I think it was in the cubicle office and they probably threw it out, but I have a few compounds to try out. And what this is, is would be the opposite of lube. Because like I said, right now, with these coatings, we now control the feel, but if it's too fast, then we can make something to make it slower or make a better coating, which is something I'm always researching. But it's not just polymer cubes. A lot of people say, I can't use the GTS2 or so on and so forth because it's too fast. We can fix that. So by controlling the, the resistance to shear, maybe find something that shear thickens, uh, something non-Newtonian, but instead of shear thinning, like I may have mentioned in an earlier video, something that thickens under shear, something that is long lasting, and something that adds just the right amount of friction, not too much of course, and not something that's abrasive either. And that's the hard part, but I have a few ideas. Um, those chemical compounds do exist in industry. All of these things, we're just applying things from engineering to Rubik's Cubes, and in engineering, these compounds do exist. I can't give it away because they're, you have to, it's like formulation chemists in industry and engineering, they don't give away their secrets because that's how they make a living. And they did study for like years to earn that. So I have a few ideas that I'm gonna try. And probably by two weeks, it's gonna take like a week for supplies to arrive and a week of experimentation formulation. I think it is possible. And I wanna, I wanna make this special additive lube pretty soon because I think the concept is very simple and if we apply these engineering concepts, it can totally be done. So, um, I think in, con in conjunction with the polymer cubes, if I can make this loop, we now have complete control over feel, speed, and everything else. So, as always, I'm optimistic. Um, so that's pretty much it. Today was, it was a two-day comp, um, Music City. It was okay. Um, I'm really happy about FMC. And uh, hopefully I can go to more of these comps and do more projects. So I'll talk to you more in the next video. See y'all then.